My name is Justin Vickers. I'm a professor of voice at Illinois State University in the United States. I'm going to discuss the Zex Hölderlin Fragmente, a song cycle from the summer of 1958, Britain's Opus 61, that rather finds an obscure niche in Britain's compositional output. The Zex Hölderlin Fragmente is a 12-minute song cycle of six songs. And it's interesting in the flyleaf of Britain's volume of the Hölderlin poems, uh, while in the left side he certainly has actually shown us the six poems that would comprise the song cycle, there are another handful of poems on the other side um, which were clearly of interest to Britain in the correspondence actually between Britain and the dedicatee of the work, Prince Ludwig of Hesse and the Rhine. There were actually a dozen poems that Prince Ludwig was certainly interested in, Britain uh, corresponded back and forth and said, well, we're going to have to pare it down a little bit from there. But you can see some of these uh, in Britain's own pencil uh, in the flyleaf. It's interesting. It was about a five-year period between the composition of the work and its publication, uh, which is something that scholars have often asserted lends to its obscurity. It's unusual, though, that such an incredible song cycle should be avoided in the concert hall. It stands alongside the works of Schubert, uh, and Schumann. sort of coyly begins with Menschen Beifall, a song which means the applause of men, something with which Benjamin Britten and Peter Peters would certainly have been aware. And I think it is a sort of uh, teasing of this relationship. It's in Socrates und Alcibiades, where potentially we have a piece that people might find a little off-putting, but really it's a question and answer. The piano poses the question, and in the second half of the song, the voice actually picks up that precise melodic line underscored by these rich chords. The final song of the cycle, Die Linien des Lebens, or The Lines of Life, is in a three-voice imitative canon. When we arrive at the final lines of the poem, what we are here is there by God completed, with harmony, reward, and peace eternal. It's in that moment where perhaps Britain finds peace eternal in the key of E flat. It's certainly the final cumulative chord of the cycle. Thank you.